in this week's episode, we're going to do uh, wiring of parameters between objects. So if we um, can set up, uh, we can set up relationships between objects. So if I've got a box and another box, um, if I select the first box, right click and go to um, wire, which is wire parameters. Um, what I want to do is link, you can access all of its position, rotation, um, but we can also uh, access the objects um, parameters. So I want to access the height and you'll notice the little dashed line. I want to link that height parameter to this box's height. Um, brings up the wiring dialog box. Um, you've got a couple of different options here. So you can do a two-way sync, a one-way um, where this one is the master, and a one-way where this one is the master. Um, let's start with a two-way, and we'll connect that guy. And now, as we change the parameters of one box, um, if I adjust the height here, they will both change. Um, so this is an expression, so it's really just the box height equals the box height. Um, we could add a times two, for example, and hit update. And now there'll be a relationship between these boxes um, and it'll be basically the second box will be double the height. That could be, uh, we could have in here, it could be half the height update um, or we could do let's do it could be the height squared and so now if this one is let's say five then this one if all goes well should be 25 okay so that's a simple relationship between the height and the height. Um, you can do a basically a stack of expressions in here. You can use um, sine, um, uh, you can do oh, oh, 10, you can convert things to radians. There's a whole stack of things you can do. Um, you can link uh, positions with um, parameters. So let's close that. Let's um, uh, wire the oops, wire the position. Let's have it be the x position. Um, x position and connect those. So if I move this one's x position, they'll both move. Could be the x position plus twenty. Let's see if that works. So you can move these guys around and they'll have that um, positioning relationship. Um, we can also, let's throw a sphere into the mix um, and this one we want to link the, let's wire the sphere's radius to the uh, we'll, let's do the height um, and this time we'll do it as a one way so let's have the radius drive the height of these other two objects so we'll do a one way um, connect and you see there's a warning um, because there's some other two way connections this will basically control both um, so confirm yes um, and we'll update and let's see if this works. So if we wanted this guy to connect, so we kind of broke that relationship because um, they were set up as a equal. Now this is a master slave arrangement. Um, so this is the master, this is the slave. Um, we could have the master drive both or this one. And if you, if you notice um, the height can't be changed here. So 
the, the slave can't tell the master what to do. It would be improper. Um, so let's change this one. So we'll wire parameters um, radius to the height. Um, do that one as a master slave arrangement and let's go the radius times three connect okay so now as I change this radius they're all moving and there's this uh, position relationship between these two you could have another one that was I don't know, the height or whatever okay uh, so another thing that can be useful is you can set up a relationship um, well in, as in real life if you struggle to make relationships you can have a relationship with yourself um, so one thing might be we could link uh, let's actually let's keep it simple we'll make another box uh, actually let's do it as a shape So if this was a building, for example, and I had an extrude modifier, and then say I was 30 meters high and I wanted each floor to be um, 3 meters, then I would plug in 10. And if I hit F4 to show segments, so now I've got these sort of imaginary floor plates. Um, if I wanted these floor plates to have a parametric relationship with the segments, um, so what I you know I can I could change this to be sixty, and then I'd have to do some maths in my head. Carry the four, that would be twenty. Um, if you're doing massing for an urban scale and doing that, that could become tedious. So what we could do is set up a um, parameter wire. And we'll go extrude amount, and instead of dragging onto another object, we'll just click onto itself, and we'll go um, segments. Um, so if we just do a let's let's have the number of floors drive the overall height and connect. Um, so now I can't can change the amount it's all driven by the segment so this is like becomes floors except for it doesn't make much sense because floors of one meter is probably a bit mean um, so we might set the floor to floor to be I, I use 3.1 actually let's just do it as commercial instead of residential update and now when we adjust the height parameters our um you know we're just uh, sorry the segments we're just adjusting the overall height so that's wiring parameters um in a pretty simple way okay